Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. Somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, uh, maybe you can make this as your substitution. So let uh, let w be this thing here. So uh, so you could make you could make this as your substitution. So let w be be that thing there. So if w equals this, then dw equals this. So dx will equal this. So we can put this into here. Um, we can put this into into uh, into here. And then for for the x, we can uh, we can look at for for the x, we can look at this. For the x, we can look at this and rearrange this to make x a subject. So that will then take us to this. So here x e equals this thing here. So we can put this into the x. So this whole thing here, you see, if, if you make if you make this as your substitution, uh, then then the whole thing here will become this. Now, the, the, this is still the, this is very complicated. A better substitution. So ra rather than rather than making this as your substitution, rather than making this as uh, as w, a better substitution would be to uh, to make the whole thing here. Be including the square root to make the whole thing w. So let w be be the whole thing here. Let w include the square root. Up here we didn't include the uh, the square root. Up here this thing here was was w. Down here we're going to include the square root. If you if you include the the square root, it would make a better substitution. So uh, square both sides. This will then give you this. And then uh, remember, we, we, we're trying to obtain dx. So differentiate from here, differentiate both sides. That will then give you this. Divide both sides by by four. So so dx equals this. We can put this into the uh, into the dx. We can put w into the whole square root thing. So uh, so the whole square root thing is w. And then uh, and then we still need to settle this. To settle that, we would look at this bit here. Rearrange it to make x a subject. That will then give you this. So x is this thing here. We can then put it into here. So that so this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. Tidy it up because uh, here well tidy this up and uh, uh, tidy this thing up. It will then uh, it will then give you it will then give you this. You see by making a good substitution, this is a lot cleaner than uh, than, than what we had earlier. Okay, so so um, so part part of uh, part of the skill is um, is in knowing how to uh, make your substitution, and uh, and after um, when when you build up your experience, then then uh, th then you will make better substitution. Well, anyway, a good substitution would take you to here. A bad substitution would lead you to something ugly. Okay, so so let's take off from here. So um, so here. Um, so 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 from here, uh, we we could try to use the integration table. So you can look this up on the internet. If you have something of this form here, you can easily integrate it to this. But then we are trying to integrate this. We are trying to integrate this. This is not in. Th sorry, this is not in this form. Because if you look at this here, um, you got. We're trying to integrate this. But then, if you have plus. Something squared, but here we've got something minus. We've got a minus here. This is a plus, so we can't we can't use this. Okay, we we, we can try looking at this. Well, if you look at this, um, uh, uh, if you look at this, you maybe you could hang on, bear with me. Maybe maybe you could rewrite this as this as a minus one. Hang on, maybe you could write this as minus one, and then. And then, uh, and then, uh, uh, and then minus w squared, and then plus one, and then this thing here may be maybe of this form here. But then you you got the square root here. Up here you don't have the square root, so you can't really use this. Um, you you you're supposed to use this. You're supposed to use this. But let's say let's say you can't remember this. Uh, um, let, let's say you didn't you you can't remember this. So if you look it up on the internet, if you use this, you can use you can use this to solve this straight away. But let, let's just say we uh, we can't remember this. We don't want to use, we don't 
we don't know where this came from. Okay, so so we are trying to integrate this. So to integrate this, um, use partial fractions. So rewrite this as two separate fractions. So so rewrite this as this. Hang on. Re rewrite. Hang on. Hang on. Let's go back to this. Let's, so so we are we are trying to rewrite this as something over uh, another thing plus b over another thing. So hang on. Re looking at this. You should always keep an eye out on on something being on this being easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between. Then then you can jump to uh, to uh, w plus one, and then uh, w minus one. Okay, so so keep an eye out for something easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between. Then you can jump to this. I will continue in the next video. Okay.